Hello. Last week, we looked a little bit into how to explore our emotions and using painting and drawing to express how we might be feeling. This week, we are going to use collage to help us to recognise how we might be feeling. It's funny, isn't it? Sometimes we recognise our emotions. Sometimes we can say, I feel happy. I feel sad. I feel angry. Sometimes they're really clear. But often, I know this is true for me, I don't really know how I feel. I don't have a word. I just feel it inside my body. Sometimes I feel it in my chest. Sometimes I feel it in my head. I'll give you an example. This evening at dinner time, um, I was feeling very nudgy. I just, I, that's the word I use. Um, very kind of um, annoyed. Okay. Um, I took myself away into a into a room and I did this collage activity um, and it only took a couple of minutes and I came out of it and I understood how I felt and then I was able to communicate to the rest of my family and say do you know what I am really bored of cleaning up these plates at dinner time I am really tired and I was then able to say to them, I need help, can you help me? And sure enough, they did. They understood how I was feeling, so they could take action, they could help me. I think it's a really useful tool, and I'm gonna tell you how to do it. Okay, so I'm looking through these magazines here and I am really trying to not think too much about what I am looking at. And it's actually quite hard. Switch off your thinking brain and use that intuitive intelligence that you have. You're looking for things that really strike, that really kind of uh, jump out at you. And you go, oh yeah, that's, that's me right now. And the wonderful thing about working like this is that you wouldn't necessarily um, look for a particular picture. You have access to all of this imagery that you get to edit, you get to choose yes or no. The thing is, is that you're presented with loads of imagery that you wouldn't have thought of. This working with found imagery like this is really exciting because it makes you think about things differently. Ah, I've got it. Is a jellyfish and the word that I've chosen is work okay and um, I think the reason why I chose this is because it is so colorful and so bright um, it grabbed my attention immediately I'm really drawn to color because um, because living in lockdown I think is so boring and monotonous this made me kind of, it was like breathing in that fresh air. It was like I could breathe in and inhale this invigorating colour. It really made me 
go, oh yeah, I had, a, I had a really strong reaction to this picture. Um, and I'm not so concerned that they're jellyfish. That isn't the issue. The, the, the thing that made this, the image that I stuck in my sketchbook was the color. And these beautiful round shapes that uh, are so organic. And the word that I chose was work. And I think I chose this word because I don't see work, I don't see artwork as a chore at all. I see it as exciting and invigorating and almost like, um, just like we, I need air to breathe, I need colour um, and work to live. Your, your intuition has chosen your image, your gut feeling has chosen it. Now it's time to bring in some language and bring in some understanding of why you chose that image. This art activity is a really spontaneous, instant way of working. It means you're not having to sit and think too carefully about what you're drawing or making. It's really quick and easy. Um, it's, it, it does that brilliant thing of using your intuition and bringing it forward to the centre of your thinking and really valuing your feeling, really valuing your gut feeling that you have. It enables your intuition to stare back at you. <laughs> you can see how you feel on this page and that can help you to, to validate, that, that can help you to really see it and to go, yeah, that is how I feel. And sometimes when you're not sure of how you feel, but then when you, and you see it on a page, it can be a huge relief. It can be quite powerful. So give it a go, see how you get on. I hope this has been a useful video. See you soon.